Hey, what is up guys? Guitarok here. Welcome back to another Blue Archive video. Now, a bit of update on the cards mechanic. So apparently now, a lot of you guys have come up to me and tell me about the odds and stuff. Obviously, no one has completely figured it out yet. Yes, we somewhat know the rates, but a lot of things are still like not known. For example, whether or not there's a PT for the card mechanic. But first things first, let's talk about the, the current rates, um, Kitan rate, right? A lot of you guys have asked me about the Kitan rate. Um, if you are struggling or you're trying to do extreme, that's something that I think most players should be looking forward to, especially if you're a veteran player. I already made a guide last month. It's exactly the same one. I'm using the exact same strat from that as well. So if you guys uh, are struggling, you know, I won't be making a guide for, for the tactical assault every time when it comes out, especially if it's the same one. Unless there's like a new character that I can feature, you can refer to that guy. I'll try to link it in the description below as well. One more thing is, I forgot to mention this in the last video. Uh, you can actually... From the shop, you can actually get more stamina. If you go to the tactical challenge shop right here, you can actually buy this stamina for 100, uh, sorry, 90 AP per day, right? And then if you want to, if you have spare of this currency, the tactical challenge currency, you can actually use it to refresh. So if you refresh, it will cost 10 of this uh, currency and you can do it three times a day. Right, so make sure you guys take advantage of that. I completely forgot to mention this in the last video. So make sure you guys do this. Uh, if you have enough of this currency, that is, make sure you guys buy this three times a day. It is a little bit expensive. Uh, I myself might not be able to do it throughout in the entirety of the event. The event will still last for 12 more days. But it's something that you guys should consider doing because it gives you a ton of bonus stamina. The bunny chasers on board. So the card mechanic, how does it actually work? Alright, so as far as I know, this is something to keep in mind. None of the rates are officially out or released by Nexon or anything like that, but there is a wiki that links to this Google, what do I call this, the Google Doc that shows the drop rates. I'm not exactly sure how accurate this is, so take it with a grain of salt. So based on what I see, I'll try to link this again in the description if you guys are interested. As you can see, uh, based on the bunny chases on board card game, apparently the calculated total rate of getting the highest rarity card apparently is 10%. Alright, so 10% of getting the highest chance card, the UR card. So what does that mean? So let's go to the draw the card and then I'm going to show you guys. So if you guys are not aware, the Karin, Neru, Asuna, Akane, these are the UR cards. And then there's this White Rabbit and Yuuka. This is the so-called SR card. And then the rest are the so-called R rarity card. So these are the useless ones, right? Out of these four cards, there will be one card that's going to be guaranteed at least SR or UR. So you never know whether it's going to be SR or UR. And a lot of players have been saying, based on my previous video, they did say that it's better to open one and then shuffle afterwards. That is actually not the way you should go about it because if you open one and you shuffle, so right now you have four cards, right? And one of these is guaranteed to be either SR or UR. So let's say if you get a good card, yes, shuffling makes sense. But if you get a rare, for example, this one, this is a rare card. All right, this is the lowest rarity. So just now, the chance to get SR or UR is 1 in 4, which is 25%. So now, since I got a bad card, I still have one more chance to get a good card right here. From 25% chance, my chance of getting a, a SR or UR increased to 33.333% because 1 in 3, right? At the cost of me just paying 10 extra chocolates. And I think this is going to be worth it. Ideally, you really want to open all of it. That should be how you will go about it. If you don't get any of the SR or UR cards in one go. So again, let's open the red one, right? So let's go here. All right, again, I'm getting the lower rarity one. So now you can see the price increase again, right? The price increase again from 210 to 220. So I'm paying 20 extra. If I shuffle, it will be back to 200. But now the chance of getting an SR or UR card is 50-50, right? It's 50% chance. It's still worth it. Now you can easily calculate this by using like a, a random rates comparison to the, to the ratio of chocolate. For example, 200 chocolate, 25% chance because one in four cards, right? 2.5% uh, for 20 chocolate. This is how the ratio is like. But when we pay the 20 right here, we are getting extra. We, we are getting 50-50%, right? So actually going PT all the way is worth it. So you ideally, I feel like the best way to maximize this is you want to open until you get at least one of the SR or UR before you shuffle, instead of opening one and shuffling one. So in this case, I still get the bad card. So now I know this one is a good card for sure. 
I know this one is going to be the SR or the UR. So let's open it. 230 chocolates is a bit expensive. I got the Yuka card, which is the SR card. So big shout out to Jin Kusanagi for basically uh, summarizing these things up. I think he makes a very good calculation right here. So not 100% sure about the probability theory on this. Alright, I'm also not 100% sure because some people say that you can get 3 UR cards. Some people say you can get all 4 UR cards. So that's going to be like, we don't know if there's a PT mechanic to this as well. But duplicates are possible in a 4 hand draw. So it's a combination rather than a permutation. So if you shuffle each time, it's possible to get 4 common cards in a row. And that will cost you 800 chocolate coins, right? If you, if you shuffle every 4 times. But... Uh, it's impossible to get 4 common cards if you pull all 4 cards in one hand. And that will cost you 860 chocolate coins. And that's what I, I'm doing right here, right? I'm actually going to pity by getting this Yuuka right here, if you think about it. And that costs 60 more chocolate coins. I, I get the guaranteed SR or UR in this case. So if you pull 3 common cards first and assume that random number generation occurs before each card reveal, the fourth card probably, probably re-rolls with new probabilities for just UR and SR. What he's saying is true. If you open one and shuffle and open one and shuffle, there's a chance that you're gonna keep getting the low rarity cards, which in this case is the common cards. And if you're super unlucky, that can go on to like 50 tries even. You can just keep getting the, the low rarity. Ideally, I would say if you're trying to maximize the rewards, it's better to open until you get the SR or the UR. So in this case, I don't think I want to open that one. So in this case, it's better to just shuffle. All right, so I do think this is the best way moving forward uh, if you're trying to maximize what you get in return. So yeah, again, uh, let me know what you guys think. At the end of the day, um, we are still not 100% clear of how this thing completely works. Unless there's a PT me mechanic where you open one, you get unlucky, you open one, you get unlucky. Maybe like after 10 times, you're going to guarantee a uh, SR UR. But if there's no PT mechanic, I think opening all four is going to be better. And that's what I'm going to assume moving forward. Again, big shout out to Jin Kusanagi for calculating all of this. Now, this guy also did one more calculation for whether or not it's worth it. I'll be talking too detailed about it, but you guys should check it out. It's very, very detailed. Uh, he basically try and calculate whether or not it's worth it to actually refresh six times a day, comparing to versus saving the paroxysms for pulls in the future, right? And of course, based on this calculation, yes, it's worth it. But the problem with this kind of calculation is you don't really take into consideration that it's the same thing that you, get, you are getting. Because when you do pulls, you're going to get a lefts in return. But right here in this bunny card thing, even if you get the worst card ever, you're still getting some materials. You're still getting some uh, level up materials for your character ETC. And I think that's worth more in my opinion. So it's not like a full one-to-one -one calculation that you can make a comparison based upon. But I still think it's a good take overall. I'll be doing a stream tomorrow on opening all the cards. I'll do an early stream tomorrow. And I'll spend all of these 23,000 chocolate coins. I'll be doing this PT mechanics throughout. So if you guys want to tune in, feel free to subscribe. Turn on the notifications as well. I'll see you guys in the stream. Alright, so have a nice day. Goodbye.